Hello everyone, welcome, and today we will be building a 2x1 piston door activated by a redstone torch. So, let's get started. First things first, you want to pick out a place where you want to build it. I'll be building mine here. And what you want to do is create your basic 2x1 piston door first. So we'll dig a little hole, put the four pistons, and the two pistons which will be pushed this way, and then extend outwards with whatever block you want covering your entrance. And uh, that's done, you want to set up the redstone wiring, like so. And you want these repeaters on full delay, and set up the wirings to go all the way across to the other side. Okay, when this is pushed out, it will be a... Hold on, let me just finish digging a hole here. It will be pressed against this block, so all you have to do is put a repeater, which will be powering that when it's extended. And then just connect it all together. And now that's set up, that's your basic 2x1 piston door. Should be working right away, like so. So when you unpower it, there we go. And the next step is to build the redstone torch activated switch. And all it is is a bud switch which sends out a pulse basically. Let's go ahead and uh, open this up a little. So, you pick, you pick a spot, place a redstone torch right under it, a sticky piston, and a dirt block. Or any block that's a solid. And you want to put a block one up and behind the piston. Ooh, that's gonna get in the way. Alright, let's build it the other way. The opposite side. Alright, so, two blocks. A repeater on two. Redstone, 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 redstone. And repeater on one. And that's your working toggle bud switch, basically. Alright, so, when you do this, it toggles and it sends out a quick pulse. So we could take advantage of that by... Um... Ah, now it's on the other side. Okay, looks like we shouldn't have covered it up yet. We could take advantage of this by... Um... putting a piston... facing downwards. Stick this way. Okay, so how this works is... We have a power source and the repeater. So when this piston gets toggled, it'll send this block downwards and the power will be able to continue all the way across like so. And okay, we're almost there. All you have to do is connect it to your two by one door, like up here, the one I built just a minute ago should work now. There you go. And then to close it again, there you go. Now we can just cover this back up. Easy peasy. Now, the only problem is, once you're inside, you can't really close it. But that's easily fixed. All you have to do is send a redstone pulse to um, this piston. Any redstone pulse will do, so like a simple button, which will, which will be what I'll be doing. Which is why I have these stone buttons. So, hook up your button. Set up your redstone. Let's put some torches. Set up your redstone so that it reaches the piston, that piston. The same piston that toggles the, the switch, basically. So, oops. There we go. Let's cover it up. Cover everything up. And it's probably this one because <laughs> there's the only grass block. And there's your completed 2x1 redstone torch activated door. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. 
And if you thought this tutorial was helpful, please leave a comment, like, and even subscribe if you want. If you need clarifications, I'll gladly answer any questions or even build a more specific tutorial. So yeah, thanks for watching. See you guys next time. Ooh, that activated by itself. Maybe we're not done. Yeah, we are. <laughs> thanks for watching, guys.